Damn Moskal here, and in this video we're going to talk about the best uh, cache for your WordPress website. So this is going to be a plugin, and you're going to go need to go to the Add New section of your WordPress interface. Um, the super uh, Sorry, a cache on your website will increase and speed up the loading time of your website. It will make it a lot more friendly to the search engines and uh, make your website move much faster. Meaning people, visitors to your website won't be waiting five minutes for a page to load. This is very important when it comes to search engine optimization and providing a good experience for your visitors. So the two that I, this is the one I use, WP Super Cache. This is the most user-friendly, easiest to get started with that I have found since uh, working full-time since 2006 online. So I always use WP Super Cache. I've heard that the W3 Total Cache was also a good one. I've tried using this a couple of times, uh, a few times over the years. I haven't probably within at least a year, but this one was much more for a super advanced user. If you, I personally know a lot, and the WP Super Cache is the most easiest, simplest one to get started with and use, and the one that I use and I've heard from other reliable sources is a good one to use. So once you install this, we've already installed ours, you're going to get a new little section in your settings bar on your uh, WordPress interface. And it's right down here. It says WP Super Cache. So we're going to look at this real quick. All I do is turn the cache on and I click update status and that's it. That's all I do. And it significantly speeds up my website. All my websites using WordPress. Um, like I said, the W3 is also a good one. Uh, and let me just clarify, kind of the idea with a cache is there's a copy of your website that's been made. So every time somebody visits your website, they don't actually have to load the whole page. They'll get served kind of a recent copy or cached version is what they call it. So I would recommend... Uh, using this, whether it's the WP Super Cache or uh, W3 Total Cache or any cache you want, I've just found this one to be the easiest to use. And there's not much more than I do beyond that. It's also important to consider what web hosting company you're using. Um, I've run into some rather slow uh, web hosting companies and ones that would my website would be down and others that would kind of limit my abilities to use the WordPress website and interface fully the way I fully wanted to. I would recommend visiting uh, Bluehost.com whether you have a new website or uh, whenever your current website hosting expires. Blue web, sorry, Bluehost <laughs> has been uh, the most reliable and the one I have all my web hosts or my websites hosted with today. So um, make sure to put a super cache of some sort on your WordPress website. It really, really, really speeds it up. And if you're making changes to your website, such as the template or the design, you should probably turn off your cache and you may need to delete your cache just because otherwise you may be served a copy. You might not see the changes that you're making to your website right away um, because it's copied and you'll be served a cached version. So this is Dan Moskal. Uh, you can visit Amazon.com and grab a copy of our book, How to Create a Website Easy Button. It's also available in the Kindle. And please like this video, comment below. Let us know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. And have a wonderful afternoon. Please share this video with your friends, family, and colleagues. Take care now.